Hi guys, welcome back to Tactic Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to set up manual payment method in Shopify. Shopify Payment Setup. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now as you can see right now, I am in my Shopify account. So what we're going to do to be able to set up our payments or our manual payment method is you're going to have to look over here on the left side. Over here, you have the settings. You can notice the settings over here. So simply select that settings option. And in this page, you will be able to see a lot of information over here on the left side. Now payments is very important in your Shopify store because of course Shopify is an e-commerce and you want to get paid. You want your earnings to be sent to you. And over here under payments that is how you will be able to manage that. So simply select this and you will be able to view your payment settings over here. You have your payment providers, your supported payment methods, manual payment methods and payment customization over here now we will be focusing on how you will be able to do the manual payment methods but after this i will also explain and talk about the other payment uh, settings over here such as the payment providers and supported payment methods but i'm going to talk about the payment method that is manual right now so that you guys don't have to waste your time so if you want to listen more to how other the other payment method works you could listen but let's go and dive straight into the manual method now as you can notice there is already the term manual payments over here manual payments is basically payments that are made outside your online store when a customer selects a manual method such as cash and delivery you'll need to approve their order before it can be fulfilled so you have control whether the product that you're going to send out is something that you would like to be paid on delivery because there are some products out there that you can sell and you really don't want to have it as a cash on delivery for example you have a custom design product or a custom design item you don't want that to be cash on delivery because if it's custom you're going to have to spend a long time or a decent amount of time customizing that product and the chances or the dangers of cash on delivery is that customers will sometimes not receive the product and you will not get paid for that product even though you have delivered it and everything so uh, you will just waste your time if you enable the manual payment method for products such as those but if it's product like a normal t-shirt i guess it's sometimes or it's often safe for you to have cash and delivery a lot of e-commerce out there performs with the cash and delivery so it's going to be okay so to get started, simply click on add manual payment method and you have options such as create custom payment method, a back deposit, money order or cash on delivery or COD. Now the most basic one or the most common one is the cash on delivery. So over here on the cash on delivery, simply add additional details. This will be displayed to customers when they're choosing a payment method. So you could add here the detail I was talking about earlier. So let's say this is not applicable for custom made it's our spelling custom made products we will not accept cod for those types of orders something like that so that they know uh, when they're choosing this payment method they will see this message over here so that they don't need or they won't waste their time trying or waiting for the approval for their cod order you can also add some payment instructions over here uh, this will be shown to customers after they place order with this payment method so you could add some payment instructions such as please pay exact amount upon delivery just like that but you can simply click on activate cod and you will be able to activate this manual payment method so when they're checking out on your uh, store they will be able to choose the COD as an option then you can click on manage to uh, change some settings later on or change the message that will be displayed then you can also click on bank deposit which is the difference is that it will be coming from the bank you can see here 
then you have money order as well you could add additional details and payment instructions as well and you could add some custom payment method if you want you could add the name here then you could add additional details maybe you have some local uh e-wallet for us we have gcash maybe you could say gcash payments something like that then you could add the details that you want to add here like the number and how to be able to pay it you can activate that as well as you can see here we now have one two three four manual payment methods in our shopify store now there's also other payment providers if you don't want to have manual there are a lot of providers available for us you have ocean payment pioneer Ariad, authorize.net cayenne and many more you could select any of this as well which would allow you the third party payment providers and you have here some supported payment methods uh the default one is paypal you can see here that you could add other uh, payment methods as well over here you have payment capture method also authorized payment at checkout and capture manually you could have this automatic at uh, checkout or manually you could have that as the settings as well and then you could do some payment customization if you want but this will typically uh, require you to have some apps installed but if you don't it's perfectly fine as well so let's actually check out how that works let's see if we will be able to view it in our online store let me add a random product add product uh let's go with test product over here and then our pricing let's go with 100 and let's save this product if we can there we go we now have a random product let's go to our online store let's view our online store so that we can try it out and see if we will be able to actually uh view that payment method the manual payment method that we can or that we just set up over here uh test product we can select this oh it's sold out but uh it, let's go back products select this one let's add some stock into it so that we could actually try and order it uh available let's go with four just like that save quality updated uh refresh this it's supposed to have four on hand let's open a new preview for our output over here click on preview there we go add to cart or buy now oh we should go with the online store instead for the full uh, online store this is just for the product preview that's product then buy now over here as you can see there's the information and then as you can see here now there will be the payment methods over here as you can see we will be able to see the information that we have added these are the manual payments uh this is the information or the details that i have added earlier uh this is not applicable for custom made products we will not accept cod for those types of orders as you can see that they can select back deposit as well money order or gcash payment over here then you have your other usual information so that's basically it if you enjoyed this video guys consider leaving a like and subscribe thanks for watching